Welcome to Crawl Space Concepts install video. Uh, this is install video number two uh, to get you acquainted with how the foundation pins are installed. In this crawl space, uh, we have about three and a half, uh, four feet or so. Um, and here we're using a hammer drill with a quarter inch drill bit, drilling through the dry space at the foundation seal tape, um, drilling a hole into the block probably wondering what the the dust pan is for and it's to catch the dust uh, in the in the uh, from the block that comes out when you uh, when you drill it out now we're, we're staying down just a few inches from the top when you come into an inside corner you're going to uh, you want to put two holes one on each wall at the corner uh, just to give it some additional strength so uh, if you're doing some work in that area you don't have to worry about uh, pulling it off the wall or doing any kind of damage or or uh, compromising the seal that the foundation seal tape has. So we move around the uh, foundation. Now the dustpan is obviously a um, is an option depending on what you want to have accomplished in the end. Um, the dust is rather a pain to clean up so uh, to save labor and time in lapping the crawl space we use the dustpan we use it in places that we can in, in the smaller 18 inch crawl spaces um, less than two feet it gets really difficult to incorporate the dustpan but in the larger ones we uh, we use them uh, on every job that we can it keeps it nice and clean and keeps the dust down so when you come to an outside corner we're going with the same um, same concept you're going to put a pin in uh, on each wall near the edge um, and again it's just to keep the dry space nice and nice and uh, tight to the wall. There we've got some uh, up in the floor joists we have some uh, some deterioration, some rot from uh, from water coming in. So he's going to put a put a pin uh, or drill a hole right here at the outside corner and you have to reach through and kind of, a, in this case we've got a beam pocket that comes across so it, it uh, the block comes down a little bit. You can see that there's a a good eight or nine inch drop from the pin on the right, uh, the pin hole on the right and the pin hole on the left and then he's going to match that hole on the on the other side again for the aesthetic side we can try to keep them nice and even um, in this case we have a gas line running through that's uh, given the hammer drill some trouble so we had to move the hole down uh, just a little bit um, as long as you get it through the tape or near the tape uh, to maintain that seal you'll, you'll be in good shape so we moved it down a couple of inches so that uh, we could get a good get a good hole for the for the foundation pins. So now we're going to take a look at all the holes. You can see they're about uh, two feet, two and a half feet or so apart. Um, you can overkill on this if you want, but it's not necessary. Now here's the foundation pins. These are stout little plastic pins. Um, they're they've got a like a spine to them that are a little more difficult than just being able to push them in with your finger so we use a hammer to tap it in, to tap it in like a nail as um, long as the hole is, is clear and if you drill the hole over where the foundation seal tape is at you're going to keep the va vapor barrier from coming out with the drill bit um, and that will keep uh, keep the holes lined up so you don't have to go back and uh, do a little search and destroy so you just tap them in um, we go all the way around. The way we do it, if if one guy is drilling, typically we will will drill the holes and and uh, tap them in within our reach, so we don't have to lap the crawl space twice. Once for the holes, and then once again for uh, the pins. Uh, but in this demonstration, obviously we um, we did the holes first, and then we did the pins, just so you could see how they would go. So here's finishing up the last last of the pins. Um, and that's pretty much gets you a good feel. You do this all the way around um, and that holds up the, the dry space permanently. Well that's about it. Um, if you do have any questions or run into any problems while you're installing your project, uh, please feel free to call us at the office. We would be glad to extend any kind of advice or help you through whatever kind of bumps you may be having. Um, keep an eye on the site. We are going to have more videos coming how to wrap supports and how to fold corners and different things like that. So um, you can always get a hold of us at fixmycrawl.com and crawlspaceinfo.com. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.